Hi, I'm Andrew Berg here at SCTE's uh, annual Cable Tech Show. Uh, we're here at Enersys uh, booth on the show floor. And this is Joel Fastow. Joel? Hi, Andrew. How are you? Good. Two different colored uh, boxes back here. Yep. Uh, what's the difference and what's what's going on back here? Well, we, we have two different uh, types of batteries located here. The first one is our red and the other one's the yellow. I'd like to talk a little bit about the red battery. The red battery started a number of years ago back when we were actually not part of Enersys, but it was a different company that manufactured a battery that they took a spirally wound pure lead electrode and encased it in a can under high compression. And this battery gave very, very good power density as well as the ability to have a very long life. Unfortunately, when you took a battery like that and put it into, into a, uh, a grouping, more than one cell together, you lost a lot of efficiency because you had all this empty space in it. It wasn't until about 20 years later that another company, which is part of the Enersys group, was able to produce a battery which was a flat plate technology. And that flat plate technology uses thin plate pure lead. Now, you say, okay, pure lead, what does that all mean? Pure lead is the way to go on a battery because you have low corrosion, low gassing, low float voltage, and as a result of that, you have a battery that outperforms anything else out there. This particular battery is our red series, which is located right here. That battery has a two-year shelf life, up to 10 years of full design life, and is capable of operating in extreme environments where we have to go with something that you can't afford to have a failure. Since the design of that battery, we have also incorporated a number of changes in our production techniques and came out with a new battery which is really not a new battery. It used to be a lead calcium battery, but we upgraded it for our customers. What we did here is we took the thin plate pure lead technology that we used in the red and we applied it to the yellow with no changes in price, but the ability to have a longer shelf life, the same type of a longevity, the ability to have a low, lower uh, float voltage, and the ability to sell something to customers in the mid-range of pricing. What it end up, ended up doing for us is it took our yellow V battery, which we call it, and it enhanced the value of our red battery by escalating it in position. As a result, we have created a good, better, best scenario for our marketing. Zach, tell me a little bit about this big shiny box. I know it's not just a big shiny box, it's actually a big part of what you guys do. Yep, so VaultFlex is a thermally managed line of outdoor enclosures okay. uh, developed specifically for the cable and utility markets. Okay. Uh, VaultFlex provides a secure, thermally managed uh, environment for your battery backup system. Okay. Um, it was designed specifically for the telecom and cable markets, but okay. also has applications in utility and UPS. Okay. Uh, the cabinet itself supports the PowerSafe SBS and PowerSafe V front terminal batteries, okay. as well as a long list of other battery chemistries. All right. Uh, basically, it provides you the ability to, if you need more space in your shelter or CO, you can put your batteries outside and free up more space for network equipment. Okay. And it also provides our customers with a one-stop solution for a fully integrated turnkey system where they can come to Intersys and get their enclosure, the batteries, and even service and installation in one stop. Talk to me a little bit about durability. It seems like that's really important, especially in the cable and telecommunications industry. It seems like this is definitely a sturdy structure. Yep, absolutely. Durability is super important. No one wants downtime. No one wants their cable to go out while they're watching the game. So housing the world leader battery Intersys um, in an outdoor enclosure is really critical to keep the batteries at the proper operating temperature, and that's what VaultFlex does for you keeps the batteries at their optimum temperature, which will extend the battery life and reduce the amount of times you have to swap out batteries in the field. So it's yeah. really critical. So is this something that would like uh, withstand a storm or that kind of thing? Absolutely, yeah. yep. Yeah. yep. It's actually seismic rated for even earthquakes. Um, okay. And it's completely, you know, withstand any temperature range. Um, it mitigates all the hydrogen evacuation. Okay. And uh, it also protects your uh, equipment from the elements. So, okay. Great, yep. great. Zach told me a little bit about the enclosure mm -hmm. and how important that is. Um, I have a feeling that the enclosure and the battery as a package is kind of part of what differentiates Enersys. Can you talk a little bit about that? That's true, Andrew. The, what we tried to do here is we are one of the few companies that 
harmonize the battery along with the enclosure. What is important here is, is that we created an enclosure that takes the best features of our batteries and enhances them so that we get the, the longest shelf life, the longest life on float, and the ability for that battery to provide the power when it's most needed. Many times, especially our red series, the SPS series, is put into remote environments where, uh, the, it, where the power grid is not very reliable and what we want to make sure is, is that they don't have an option that they put it in and then six weeks later uh, can go back and fix it. Mm -hmm. It has to be something that's going to last and these batteries last in this type of an enclosure. So the true end-to-end -end solution. At Correct. Joe, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. This is Andrew Berg reporting live from Cable Tech 2015. Thank you so much.